button. You were afraid the way you talk to me? <laughs> I used to be. But now I figured out that I could. Okay. Brian, what's your game? Excuse me, that's correct. No, it's not. Yeah, it is for me. She made it in two. But she's nine. Do oh, no, no. okay. you want to play that back? Uh, uh, not two, but maybe, maybe she's nine. Because then you have to take that, and then I take that. I mean, you can, like, coach it during it, you know? You should have... Queen takes eight. Eight six. Eight six. Yeah. Like yeah. So. Uh, the like queen takes D seven. Because the queen was on eight. But the rook is there. The rook's on two. The rook's on two. Oh. Okay. Like maybe you can just take the rook. Am I missing something? Wait. Wait. The rook is on two. Or well, this is set up wrong. D five. Wait. What am I missing here? Oh yeah. San Francisco, Bang in.
tell her what to do. You were wrong, mate. What? No, that was the wrong move. You see what to do. You win a you win a pawn. Thank you. No, no, that's not the way the game's played. I don't care. How nice I am. Peace. I'm taking that piece. What do I say? Don't listen to a word I say. Remember that? This isn't good. You're not supposed to touch my pieces. You know that. That wasn't nice. I go here. Yeah. What? What? Give me this piece. How big? No, I don't think so. that the wrong way. Hey guys, Brian here, and Ruthless Rui strikes again. Look at how careful she is in this endgame. A lot of people here in this position would bring the king over so that they could deliver mate, but if you do that, it's stalemate. So Rui had, um, she was under time pressure here, but she figured that out and played queen e2, giving the king one square, and then 
delivered the mate at the end. That was freaking brilliant. And little stuff like that makes you realize that Rui really knows her stuff. So great job, Rui, there. And this root, this rucksack was absolutely ruthless. Like at first, I thought maybe she blundered, but when I look back at the footage, um, she had a stone cold face, like a poker face. So either she's really good at like <laughs> at poker, or she figured that Mike couldn't catch um, both of these pawns here, so she sacked the rook there. And damn, that was ruthless. And we're gonna go over in the analysis, um, that position as well as how Mike could have drew the game, um, uh, in two ways. So. But going back here, I think in this position in the game, B takes was played. It's going to move back. If you want to be a little bit more safer, what would you play as white here? Yeah, you can play C7, and the rook can't catch it. And this could be one continuation, and you will queen with the check. But I love Rui Ru Ru just being ruthless with the rook sack here. Go ahead, take my rook. I know I'm going to queen either one of these pawns. But... um. In this position in the game, we had king takes. Let's go move back. This seems like a logical thing, right? Um, you want to chop off these pawns and queen. But uh, we saw what happened a little bit later. But going over here, what would you play as black here? Yes, to draw the game, you can just keep on checking the king here. And and um, when the king goes away, you just target this pawn. And basically, the king has no shelter. So uh, this will be a draw if you keep on checking that way. But um, I want to go here in this position, and oh, this is a heartbreaker for Mike because in the game we had G takes, and then <laughs> we had, uh, and you can see Butcher laughing in the background because this is kind of, well, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a famous chess movie where the final game ends like this where white queens and hits that diagonal um, square of the of the opponent who's about to queen as well. So going all the way over here, in the game, instead of taking, what would you play as black? Yeah, it's such an instinct to take, but you just push and and um, this will be it. So it's pretty much be a draw here, but wow. What a great game by both and always love seeing Mike playing with the kids and the kids really enjoy it. And Rui is absolutely ruthless in that game, <laughs> as well as the first game she played with Mike. And uh, oh, that was... Uh, that was brutal, man. Nicely done, Rui. And Mike, always great with the kids, man. If you guys want to get him coffee uh, for being such a, such for giving the kids so much joy and playing them chess and encouraging them, and his link is in the video description as well as this Insta. I put it there as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this game and the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.